was your like, do you think the character would come this far by season three? Well, I mean, I certainly hope so. If I was still, like, twirling my thumbs being a giant nerd at the GCPD, I'd be bored out of my mind. Uh, I thought it, I thought it's, I think it's actually been quite a, quite a slow burn. Um, he's changed drastically, I guess, but, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time with him in his normal life working with GCPD, so it felt like... Which we haven't done with most of, most of the villains we've introduced. So it's, it's felt to me like he was genuinely ready to kind of jump out of the skin. I have a question for you about Nick Malapot. Okay. I know the fans really took off with it and yeah. enjoyed it in first. It is a split in that a little bit. Yeah. So my question for you is if it hadn't been for his about, I know you said the panel that Nigma doesn't love Malapot, but what would his reaction have been? to Oswald, do you think, if not for his With regarding his, uh, his affections. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't see Edward as uh, as a gay character mm -hmm. um, in our story. So it doesn't mean that Edward Nigma can't be gay in another iteration. But would he have been more accepting and less? Because all you had was rage at the time, of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, accepting of it. Sure. I mean, I think. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think he would be bothered by it. Um, I think he's someone that has always wanted to be adored, wanted to be appreciated and liked. And so I don't think that he's that he could all of a sudden flip and resent someone for giving him something that he that he wanted. You know. Um, but I do think. I do think one of the interesting things about that clash is that. And it doesn't actually mean that either of the characters are gay. I don't, I don't actually mean to say that, because I don't know that Oswald is either. But um, I, I like the clash that Oswald is someone that's open to loving someone because they are they understand him and they give him a certain kind of attention that he's never had before. And that Edward is maybe just incapable of, of accepting that, either from the same sex or from someone like Oswald. Penguin kind of do everything in his power to get your forgiveness. Um, do you think that Enigma is capable of forgiving? Um, has Oswald done everything to get his forgiveness? I mean, I think Oswald's actually been pretty, like, resolute about having to do that for his own... Uh, for himself. I, I think Oswald is incredibly selfish. Um, and I think... Edward is too, but I think Edward can see that in Oswald, and I, I think he presents him for that. And, you know, Oswald isn't sorry that he killed her. Oswald is, he gets excited because all of a sudden he's willing to sacrifice his life for Edward. It has nothing to do with Isabella, you know? That's like, that's... that's that, there's, no, uh, there's no, like, remorse there. That's him feeling like, oh... I've achieved a certain kind of personhood because I'm willing to sacrifice myself for someone. It's like, great, sacrifice yourself. <laughs> you know? Uh, we've seen your character do some crazy things, especially in the last episode. When can we expect him to go full villain? Uh, well, the next episode that airs is called How the Riddler Got His Name. So, very soon. April 24th. Tune in, tune in, tune in. <laughs> tune in. Anything you can tease about that? Um, he will call himself the Riddler for the first time. <laughs> uh, what I can say about it is, you know, at this, to set it up, you know, he's, he's killed his best friend and he's killed the mayor. And he's killed the only person that really, that, that was his mentor and the only person that really could have guided him into a path of villainy. And so he has two options. He can continue on and be the mayor by proxy until there's a new mayor. And, and then what happens to him, I don't know. Or, and what, what happens, I don't know. And also that's kind of an unremarkable and uninteresting story. Every villain wants credit for the thing that they've done. And so the other option is take credit move forward with the life that you had intended without him and figure it out. So that's what the episode is about. How do you do that? Thank you.